Welcome to the series of videos that I call Why do I like a particular uh, class of ships in World of Warships? Well, in this case, it's actually why I don't like the French class 1 cruiser Bougainville. Bougain B. Uh, sorry, Bougain V, yeah. So, what is a French war class 1 cruiser Bougain V? Well, it's a 3 gun uh, cruiser. That's right, it's got three guns. Most of the other ships here have at least four. This wing has uh, three guns. It's a, it's a single gun tourist that it has on it. Now, if you, if you look a bit more closer at it, it's a pretty big ship. And if you look at its details, well, its guns are pretty good. It's a 139mm gun, so you got uh, a lot of damage they dish out to the enemy. So it kind of seems to be good, right? You look at its uh, armor, well, armor is like any other armor on, on this class. It's uh, paper thin, so you don't worry about it. But Hit points wise, it's pretty good. It's got 7,400 hit points. Range wise, you can get to 9.5 kilometers, not that bad. And the speed is 19 knots, but then no, nobody's really that fast except few ships uh, on, in this class right now. So, what is it that I don't like about the ship? Well, let's find out in battle. Now, this class of ship was built uh, specifically to serve in the colonies. It was not built to, be, to serve in the main navy, but most likely to show flag in the colonies. Now, Bog Bougainville is actually is named after the Louis Antoine de Bougainville, who was a French uh, admiral and explorer. He did circumvent uh, the globe, the first one, the first French person to do so. He also published a very a book about that voyage. Also, in a, in a really Himself, he was pretty pretty good. He said that you know his ship is lacking so much. The ship that not his ship, the ship named after him is that lacking so much in overall. Well, let's see. Hopefully, we can get in the, in the game quickly. Go. Oh. Of the battle. There you go, it's like, like as I said, it's a pretty big ship in a way. Have a lot of it here, but armaments wise, it's not that great. So, where are we? We are with a, with a small group of three on this side, okay. Don't go full speed because that's what we need. And let's see who's our friend here. Is it it's a, it's a Chen Yang. Chen Yang. I don't see any And here we got. A German. So let's uh, stick close to the German. And as you can see, returning. And yes, the ship takes forever to turn. That's what's no. That's that's what actually gets to bother me about the ship is that its ability to maneuver is really bad. Now, having a slow speed is fine sometimes. Like I say, the British Block One has a slow speed, but it compensates the fact that it's still maneuverable enough. It's got it got four guns on its nose, so you can really shoot at the enemy a lot. This thing got only two guns on the guns on its front, and therefore. You're not going to be able to do as much damage. And maneuvering wise, fall well, takes a lot. Alright, here's an enemy. Seeing him. Okay, let's, uh, let's turn a bit so we can hopefully get all the guns engaged because we only got three guns and you know, hope we can get all the engaged. The reload speed is not that great on this gun, so it's, you know, I guess it's a, you can live with it. But, uh, yeah, quite often you want something better. Okay, finally, the first gun is also participating in the battle.
try to hit this thing. Uh, I'm not having my shit locked with the other one. Okay, come on. No, we haven't hit the guy yet. Yeah, accuracy on the guns is not that great either. There we go, here it is. Now, the damage on the guns is pretty good, like I mentioned before. Let's uh, finish this guy off. No longer people bothering us. This is actually a very dangerous ship. Okay, in the end, it's very dangerous. There we go. Another chain yet, so we should uh, take care of it as well. There we go, nice damage. Like I said, this ship does a lot of damage, but this maneuverability is what the really makes it uh, a lot to be desired. This is uh, actually the same ship as mine, is it? No, no, it's a German. Hopefully we can do uh, quite a lot of damage. On this here. We're gonna slow down a bit, there's no point uh, rushing and so that we can, uh, we already got a nice uh, broadside going. Now he's going after us. Let's speed up in that case. Now we're gonna survive simply because we have so much more armor. Not armor, but each, uh, hit points. But you can see that even that guy did the quite a lot of hits on us and damn it, taking forever for me to turn this thing. Some damage there to the American ship there. Oh. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. Good. And here we go. See, as I'm closing the distance, I'm having a lot of trouble here. But I'm not able to deal much damage because I only got two guns. Uh, my speed is not helping me either, so I'm now stuck with this uh, low speed. Far away to really be any great help to my many friendlies here. Come on. All right, our team captured the point. That's what we want. But, damn, this took a lot out of me. Like, I couldn't really get to that point to help anybody out. I was constantly shooting at a far distance. That's the problem with the ship. It's just the low maneuver, slow speed overall, and the fact that it's only have two guns on the front means that you're not going to be doing much unless you're really, really close by. When you're really, really close by, the enemy can just shoot at you. It can deal a lot of damage to you. So, there's not much to like about the ship. It's okay can, uh, to play it at the beginning. There's nothing really to go, you know, and uh, really, really like. Alright, thank you for watching and for listening.